Get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. And let's go straight to the book of uh, John, the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John, chapter 11, reading from verses 28 to 37. The Gospel of John 11, reading verse 28 up to 27, the Word of God reads. And when she had said these things, she went away and secretly called Mary, her sister, saying, The teacher has come, is calling for you. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came to him. Now Jesus had not yet come into the town, but was in the place where Martha met him. Then the Jews were with her, in the house and comforting her. When they saw that Mary arose. Up quickly and went out. Followed her saying she is going to the tomb to weep there. Then when Mary came where Jesus was. And saw him. She fell down at his feet. Saying to him Lord. If you had been here my brother would not have died. Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And he said, we have, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him. And some of them said, could not this man who opened the eyes of the blind also have kept this man from dying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People of God, on this great day, the Lord has laid upon my heart to speak to you on the message that I've entitled at the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. At the feet of Jesus. Many times, brethren, we are approaching Jesus while standing. Many times we are approaching Jesus while complaining. Many times we are approaching Jesus as if he is our friend. But there is an approach that Jesus wants to receive from us. Mary desired one thing to be at the feet of Jesus. Ask your neighbor, are you at the feet of Jesus? We want God to do miracles. We want God to touch our lives. We want God to change our lives. With the standing position, nothing can happen. He wants us to be at the feet of Jesus. We see Mary's attitude here. She went at the feet of Jesus. And there she laid her requests. She cried at the feet of Jesus. Say, if you were here, my brother wouldn't have died. At the feet of Jesus. What moved Jesus? It was the humility of Mary. But brethren, we are used with God now. 
corner. We can enter in church as if it's our church. We can do whatever we want to do. We cannot recognize the presence of God and honor the presence of God. At the feet of Jesus, you surrender your katundu. At the feet of Jesus. Why is it that people nowadays have so much gone to the flesh? It's because we are not operating at the feet of Jesus. We are operating outside the presence of God. When we are in the presence of God, we shall operate at the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. Martha was busy doing her own things. And she was busy complaining. She was busy doing her own things, approaching Jesus while standing. But when you look at Mary, Mary said, no, 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 no. Even if, the, even if this has happened, I can't. I cannot talk to Jesus in a position of standing. Let me touch his feet. Are you touching the feet of Jesus? Humility is a sign of operating at the feet of Jesus. And let me tell you, no one can have a revelation without being at the feet of Jesus. Just Mary going at the feet of Jesus, that was a revelation. May God help us that we we'll learn to go at the feet of Jesus. The Bible says she fell down at the feet of Jesus. That's why we say that let him increase that we may do what? Decrease. When Jesus is increasing, ah, when God is increasing in your life, you'll be more humble. You will come to the level where you say, God, do what you want to do in my life. But when it is you glowing and Jesus is decreasing, there will be problems. May Jesus increase that we may decrease in our life. Shout a louder amen if I'm talking to you. Shout a louder amen if I'm talking to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now because of this, Jesus said, where have you laid him? Are you see? Look, what moved Jesus is a humility of Mary. What moves Jesus is your humility before him. Oh, you are not hearing me. When God tells you to say pray and you leave your food, that is humility. It means you are the feet of Jesus. And you leave your food and you begin to pray. You are the feet of Jesus. Because each time you are praying, you are not kneeling on the floor. You are kneeling on his feet. May the people of God reconnect to the feet again. Whatever disconnected you to, from the feet of Jesus... I command that thing to go away. Amen. And may you be reconnected in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want us to read together Mark chapter 5. Read, read for us Mark chapter 5 verses 22 up to 23. I want us to see something when we talk about at the feet of Jesus. Mark chapter 5 verses 22. The Bible records, and behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue came, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he felt at his feet. He felt where? At his feet. He felt where? At his feet. Uh -huh. 23, and begged him earnestly, uh -huh. saying, my little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her that she may be healed 
and she will live. Look at that. The ruler of the synagogue. This is not a simple man. The man that is supposed to have familiarity spirit with before Jesus. Someone who is supposed to be familiar. Who
your feet, oh Lord, is the most blessed in your presence. Lazarus. Lazarus came back to life. Now look, when Lazarus came back to life, see what Lazarus did. When Lazarus came back to life, instead of Lazarus laying at the feet of Jesus, who has raised him to death, the Bible said that Lazarus sat on the table with disciples, with Jesus. You are not hearing me. Someone has raised you from the dead. You are seated on the table with him. And the Bible said Mary and Martha were seated. no problem of blessing us. God has no problem of lifting us. But after he has lifted you, where are you? Are you at the feet of Jesus? Ah, you are not hearing me. You are not hearing me. Look. Do you know that God can show anybody a revelation? Can give a revelation to everyone? But you will find that the moment God takes us there, we are beyond the clouds. Don't ever come to the feet of Jesus. I cannot hear you. I can't hear. Do you know why Jesus was washing the feet of his disciples? He was showing them humble spirit. Hallelujah. Whatever you want to receive in life, be at the feet of Jesus. Don't ever be at the feet of Jesus. I cannot hear you. They were busy laughing at the prostitute. They said this one is a prostitute. When the prostitute went before Jesus, she refused to stand before Jesus. She went at the feet of Jesus. She cried at the feet of Jesus. She wiped the feet of Jesus with her own hair. The beauty of every woman lies in the hair. She used that beauty and wiped the feet of Jesus. And after that, she broke the expensive oil and poured on the feet of Jesus and wiped the feet of Jesus. The disciples got annoyed. Judah Iscariot. He said, Even she. This one is Obanje. But him who was not Obanje could not pour a little oil on the feet of Jesus. What are you doing to the feet of Jesus? 
not hearing me. Because you want me to say you go to America. The feet of Jesus. One thing I have desired is to be at the feet of Jesus. Because feet are the ones that shows you direction. Those are the ones that makes you to stabilize. The feet are the ones that tells you where to go. That's the, they are the ones that makes you move and look a man, a human being. The feet. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. And tell neighbor, one thing I have desired is to be at the feet of Jesus. Brethren, you can complain. You are at the feet of Jesus has too much oil. As long as you have not poured oil on it, it will not count. It will only count what you do at the feet of Jesus. So Jesus, bless that woman who was condemned. Jesus healed the daughter of Jairus because Jairus went at the feet of Jesus. Jesus brought Lazarus back to life because Mary went at the feet of Jesus. The woman with the issue of blood did not touch at the head of Jesus. Did not touch at the shoulder of Jesus. Did not touch at the knee of Jesus. Touch at the aim of the garment where the feet are. Where have you been touching? At the feet of Jesus. At the feet of Jesus. At the feet of Jesus. I choose to be there. I choose to have the rightful attitude at the feet of Jesus. I choose to see beyond the defeats of Jesus. Because at the feet of Jesus, that's where your healing is. At the feet of Jesus. Listen to me, when you go to touch the feet of Jesus, you are simply saying, It is until you bless me, you will not go and I will not go. May somebody today touch the feet of Jesus. And may Jesus answer your request in the name of Jesus. Shout it louder, amen. Shout a louder, amen. amen. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor at the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible at the feet of Jesus. Everything is possible at the feet of Jesus. Your mission is accomplished when you touch the feet of Jesus. That's when he tells you who you are supposed to be in life. At the feet of Jesus. Remember this message. It's not a message that makes you jump all over. It's a revelation message. At the feet of Jesus. What do you see? You see direction. Never at the feet of Jesus. When I don't touch the feet of Jesus, I'll be lost. But when I touch the feet of Jesus, I have direction. When I touch him, I have where I am going with him. At the feet of Jesus is believing. That's why all these that touch the feet of Jesus, they received their miracles. As you touch the feet of Jesus, you will receive your miracle. No matter how long it has taken, you will receive your breakthrough. At the feet of Jesus, there is learning. At the feet of Jesus. At the feet of Jesus. Brethren, we have Missed the feet of Jesus. We have approached him with a standing mentality. He wants us to know 
that is greater than anything in life. He wants us to humble ourselves. He wants us to connect to him. And the connection is done at the feet of Jesus. Sometimes we have too much pride. We forgot that. And we forget that. We have not even discovered him fully. He wants us to touch his feet. We have condemned each other. But at the feet of Jesus, there is no condemnation. We have nicknamed each other all kind of names. But at the feet of Jesus, we are all called his children. At the feet of Jesus. If you want to lose direction in life, move away from the feet of Jesus. Stop praying. Stop reading the word. Stop having anything to do with God. You have moved away from the feet of Jesus. The presence of God is only felt at the feet of Jesus. Nothing is good like to be at the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. I was waiting to step where he stepped. But they told us to say you have to pass through the wall wind. And after walking in it for 50 minutes, that's when you can step where he stepped. And every one of us entered in that. I think there were just about eight of them who refused. And we passed through that. And when we stopped where he stopped, and opened the eyes of the blind, say, at his feet. And the marks are still there. You step there, you feel him. You move out from there. Because the presence is too much. Up to now, the presence of God is there. At his feet. I just pray that nothing will move you from the feet of Jesus. Nothing will take you away from the feet of Jesus. Today, people, they want to operate in the clouds, but God wants us to be humble. Turn about at the feet of Jesus. Turn about, I pray that you be at the feet of Jesus. That's where you feel Him, you feel His presence. No matter what people say, I am at the feet of Jesus. No matter whatever they have, I am at the feet of Jesus. Brethren, we like saying, let us be at the pool of money. Uh-uh, let's be at the feet of Jesus. Because at the feet of Jesus, no disease will have power. At the feet of Jesus, no issue can dominate. At the feet of Jesus, there is deliverance. At the feet of Jesus. Somebody can touch your hands. The feeling is different. But if somebody touches your feet, you feel the whole body is touched. Amen. Brethren, when we, learn, when we learn to touch the feet of Jesus, we will begin to feel him. He will begin to move in our lives. He will begin to show in our lives. Sickness will have no power. Issues we are going through will have no power. Because comfort is found at the feet of Jesus. May somebody have that feeling today. May somebody touch the feet of Jesus.
Do you know why Miriam and Aaron could not manage? They touched the hands of Moses, not the feet of Moses. When you touch the feet, you experience him. You cannot. You will know him in a different way. You walk with him everywhere you are. You can confidently say, he is my shepherd. I shall not want. His feet. May somebody touch his feet. May somebody feel him. May somebody hear him. At the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why we see people talk? Why we see people say whatever they say? They are not at the feet of Jesus. The moment you get at the feet of Jesus, you will have fear to talk about God what is not right. When you have the experience of his feet, his presence will be your best friend. Shall we rise? At the feet of Jesus. At the feet of Jesus. Whatever we are looking for is at the feet of Jesus. It doesn't matter where you are coming from or your background. What matters is at the feet of Jesus. It doesn't matter the name they have given you out there. What matters is to be at the feet of Jesus. It doesn't matter whether others have eaten chicken or you are eating beans. What is important at the feet of Jesus? Because when you are at the feet of Jesus, internal life is yours. I know you are here. You are saying it's true. I've been standing before God. It is true. I have not operated at the feet of Jesus. My talking, my saying, I need Jesus to help me to be at his feet so that I can experience him again, hear him again and touch me. If you are such a one, you are saying, I need him. I want to be at the feet of Jesus. Is hearing so that the heavens can open for you. Lift those hands. Sometimes we have been operating at a level where we think we are there, but Jesus wants us to be at his feet, and that's why I say, Whoever wants to be great, let them be like babies. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. And please, I'm not forcing you. Because I know you may already have been at the feet of Jesus. You may already have been there. But this way that has come, it is for a purpose. Because you want to do great things in your life. And when you are not at the feet of Jesus, he cannot do great things in your life. Jesus hates pride. He loves humility. Just repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus. I know. 
I have provoked you. Jesus. I know. That I have injured you. In one or the other area. Help me. To be at your feet. Help me to be like Mary. Jesus. I choose to be at your feet. At your feet. I surrender. My life. I surrender. My luggages. I surrender. My sinful nature. I surrender. My pride. I surrender. My gossip. I surrender. My talkativeness. I surrender. My hatred. I surrender. My malice. I surrender. My slander. I surrender. Everything. That is not right. Before you Jesus. Take over my life. Build my life. Let my life. Be the way you have always. Wanted it to be. Jesus. Direct my life. In the path. Of light. Take over my life. Anoint my tongue. Anoint my mind. Anoint my eyes. Anoint my body. Anoint everything about me. Upon my life. Jesus. Let me walk. In your footprints. Thank you. For receiving me. The way I am. Give me. Victory for the rest of my life. In Jesus name. Amen. Talk to him now. You have rededicated your life. Now have time to talk to him.